Yeah, Destiny, plenty of buses here, but not enough bus drivers. The district is short about 130 drivers out of 800. So that means on the first day of school, especially patience is going to be a virtue. We are still in the midst of a significant national shortage of school bus drivers. We expect long delays on some of our routes. With such a significant shortage, Duval County Schools is asking three things of parents for the early days of school. Number one, drive students themselves or carpool if possible. Number two, if students are going to take the bus, be aware they could be at the bus stop for quite a while. Make sure that you're providing or Someone you trust is providing supervision for your child at the bus stop. And third, with the extreme heat, DCPS is reminding parents to send their kids with plenty of water for the wait. Once students do make it to school, they may notice some new tech for the new year. High school students will be greeted by new weapons detectors, similar to what you'd see at Disney or at a concert venue. They actually look for the shape of a weapon. Uh, that might be on a child's person or in a backpack. Students will get new ID cards this year. It's very similar to technology that is in a hotel room key, uh, so students can swipe in and swipe out of different areas. They can swipe for lunch, etc. The cards won't track students continuously. They'll just give faculty an idea of where a student last punched in should there be an emergency. Spokesperson Tracy Pierce says one of the main reasons for the new cards is for a new bus app they plan to roll out over the course of the year. But it will enable them to tap on, tap off the buses so that we know that they're safely on and parents can see where those buses are. And teachers are going to have some new tech, too, for the new school year. On the back of their IDs, there's going to be a button they can press to alert the principal if there's an emergency. And if they keep pressing it, they'll be able to alert 911 that there's an issue in the classroom. On the south side, Zach Wilcox, First Coast News, on your side.